morning guys today is june 5th in our devotional and um i'm thankful that i got a short video out for you yesterday evening um, and hopefully some encouragement but today in our devotional it says burden by guilt psalm chapter 18 verse 21 for I have kept the ways of the Lord. I am not guilty of turning from my God. Psalm 19, verse 13. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. Psalm chapter 25, verse 11. For your name's sake, O Lord, Pardon my guilt, for it is great. Psalm chapter 32, verse 2. Yes, what joy for those who, whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. Psalm chapter 35, verse 24. Declare me not guilty, O Lord my God. For you, for, for you give justice. Psalm chapter 51, verse 1 and 2. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion. Blot out the stains of my sin. Wash me clean from my guilt. Purify me from my sin. And Psalms chapter 32, verse 5. I acknowledge my sin to you. And did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. And you forgive the guilt of my sin. And at the bottom, it says, If guilt, like debt, was a currency, when we would work hard to pay it off, but now it's different. Guilt comes in partials of sin that you can never pay back. Fortunately, Jesus took your guilt upon himself. Guilt comes with a feeling of con condemnation. And the only way to win the battle is with love. Guilt exists in unforgiveness. And the only way to set yourself free is to forgive. Not seven times that 70 times seven. Trust Jesus to deliver you from your guilt. And that's good because just yesterday we talked about trusting Jesus. We need to trust him in everything and trust him to take away that guilt um, that the enemy will, co will constantly throw up in your face the, the sins of the past. Thank God for Jesus and what he done for us that we can be forgiven. So if you don't know Jesus, I'll po I always post these scriptures at the end. Take a look at the scriptures at the end and just talk to him. Confess your sins to him. Pour out your heart to him and be forgiven. I love you guys so much. And the love I, I have for you all is nothing compared to what the love the Lord has for us. The love that we have for our children or our parents, um, our spouse, is nothing compared to the love that he has for us. The unconditional love that no matter what you have done, no matter what you have done, you can come to him and he'll forgive you. He done so much. He was beaten. His beard hair plucked out. A crown of thorns put on his head. Hung on a cross. He done so much so you can be forgiven. Think about that. Trust in him to 
through everything that you're going through. Trust him. And if you didn't watch my video yesterday, go watch it. Trust him. You see changes as you grow in him. I see change in myself. I see a change in my husband. As you grow in him, he changes you. Don't think you have to change before you come to him. Come to him and he cleans you up. He changes you. I love you guys. And I hope you all have a very blessed day. As always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Like, share, and subscribe. And join me on the Disciple server. The link is in the description. And that most importantly, look over the scriptures at the end of this video. And go talk to Jesus. Get to know him. Grow in him. And allow him to take control of your life and to change you. And he will. Allow him to remove anything that doesn't belong. He will. Stay in scripture, guys. A lot of people, a lot of preachers and things, pick and choose things out of scripture to suit their what they want to or to justify sins that they do. Uh, don't do that. Stay in scripture so you will know the truth. And that's scripture. <laughs> so you will know the truth of God. The truth about Jesus. It's your road map. And if you need a Bible, let me know and I will send you one free. Okay? So you will know the truth of God. You will know Jesus through his word. He loves you so much. Don't listen to everything you hear. Make sure it lines up with scripture. Okay. All right. I love you guys. And I hope you have a very blessed day. And if I don't see you in the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.